Okay guys, what is up? It is your girl KJ here back with another video. If you can't tell by the title, this is a move-in. Okay, so, the okay, okay. All right guys, so basically let me just kind of lay the foundation. So basically I'm moving today. I move in today. I'm actually in the parking garage uh, about to go pick up my key. Um, and then I'm gonna do an empty apartment tour. I'm gonna like walk around the apartment and like let you guys kind of see it. And then, um, I'm probably gonna go grab me something to eat and then kind of talk about the whole application process, etc., etc., because this whole thing has been extremely stressful, extremely crazy. Um, I'm honestly like, I'm excited, but I don't know, it, it, it doesn't really feel real yet. So once I get the key, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go get the key real quick and show you guys around the apartment. And I don't want the intro to be too long, so I'm kind of just basically kind of telling you what you're going to get out of this video um so yeah i'm gonna go in the apartment we're gonna look around uh talk about it talk about the application process whatnot um and then that'll be it for this video and then right after that like literally maybe two days after that i'm dropping a uh apartment haul so some of the stuff that i've gotten for my apartment some of the stuff i already have for my apartment and then right after that i'm dropping the move-in vlog which is basically just going to be m me moving the stuff from the hall and the stuff that i already had into the apartment and actually moving in so that's three videos right there um and it is labor day weekend so it is going to be a little hectic i already know <sighs> so without further ado let's just get into it so we don't have to waste any more time okay all right you guys so I just got my key on, let me take off my mask. I hope you guys can see me okay. Uh, so I just took off my... <sighs> okay, so I just moved in. Um, child, I am... <laughs> I got the key. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick little tour excuse me while i run around first and then and then i'll i'll, I'll leave you guys in okay right. so now that i've got done running around the entire place uh, acting like a straight fool i'll show you guys the actual apartment so this is the front door um first the floors are like this concrete kind of thing it's like shiny but it's also concrete so it is kind of echoing that's what it is but we love it um so yeah this is the front door and then straight off is the fridge you know shan got an ice maker <laughs> um this yes <laughs> so this is the fridge um as soon as you walk in there's a cabinet up here it's like this Pretty gray color. Um, we got the we got the sous chef for the freaking look, 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 look at the oven. <laughs> we got the fancy oven. Look at the oven. <laughs> the video is mostly gonna be sound effects because your girl is ecstatic. Um, but yeah, so this is the kind of backdrop, and this is my favorite part. You already know that this is gonna be filled with some really cute, dorky glasses. Nothing but Hogwarts, Joker, all of that. This is gonna be my nerd glass counter. Like, you come over, this is the fan, this, this is the good stuff you can't touch. Oh, okay. Uh, and there's another cabinet. Um, there's the countertops. Uh, pretty standard, there's a washing machine. Uh, the sink, pretty, 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 pretty fancy. So this is the living room area. It has like these low hanging lights. I'm gonna give you guys that. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. Okay, <laughs> it came with this little welcome home uh, box. Oh, but uh, yeah, so this is the that the living room area. Um, I'm gonna put some bar stools here once I move in officially. Um, this is the pantry. No, okay, and you got this little area right here. Let me close this. All right, so then there's this. 
a little area right here. You can hang like your coat and stuff like that. The washer and dryer. Let me guys the move yourself out of the way. Washer and dryer. Uh, it came in unit. Um. So yeah, there we go. So we got the kitchen. Washer and dryer over there. Pantry right here. Here is the better look at the living room and the kitchen from here. And here is the balcony. There we go. And this is the it comes with this like own little yard. It's that little stairwell. It was kind of loud over there. I hope you guys can hear me. But yeah, so there's the private balcony that leads straight off to it. Uh, and they come up. This is the bedroom. Um, pretty high ceilings. Uh, I'll be able to see my car and my dog from the yard, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then straight into the bathroom. All right, here we go. Here we go. It has a linen closet right here. Toilet, my throne where I will spend 85% of my life. And then, wow. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got my breakfast club shirt on. It's probably going to be the first movie I watch in here for that inspirational uh, vibes. And I think I'm going to do all the things up. A logo. So, yeah, this is the bathroom. This is the uh, bathroom area. Just look at all this cabinet space. Oh! oh my goodness. And then it has like this little, um, like this little medicine cabinet built in. Oh my goodness. All right, and I'll show you guys the tub real quick. Beautiful, beautiful. It has this little thing, a bunch of little soaps or whatever. I'm probably gonna get like one of those little TV stands, honestly. Like for your phone, that you just prop right there. That's gonna be fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful. And then this is the closet. Um, I think this is where I'll set my cable up. I'm not really sure what this is. I think, I don't know, I don't know. It's also uh, concrete in here as well. There's three layers. Pew, pew, pew. I'm probably gonna put my purses and stuff over here. Oh, this is. And then coming from the bathroom. Again, this is the bathroom. There's my room. And here is the entrance once again. Like I said, uh, full circle. This one, thank you. This way they can come straight from that living room kitchen area and they can just come use the bathroom without having to go into my room which is over there and yeah there's this i probably built like a lot of storage and uh some stuff. oh my gosh some stuff for ruby like look at this three shelves right there and the shelves under here so that is the full apartment honey honey I'm very excited. Alright, so I'm gonna open this little box real quick. Uh, and then I'll get back to talking about like the actual application process and everything. Um and like basically just kind of my whole experience. I'll just do that now. I don't really want to eat on camera. <laughs> Look how sweet. <laughs> I got the little palm. <laughs> Got me a little dish soap. Got me a little trash bag. <laughs> a little uh, detergent. <laughs> a little sponge. <laughs> if this isn't the cutest little coronavirus little home packet. <laughs> um, oh, and it came with like a little water and uh, some extra trash bags. Um, so I'll go on and talk about basically my application process, my experience, etc, etc. Um, so overall, the process of finding this place, um, going through all the paperwork, etc, etc. 
I would say it took about maybe two to three weeks. And that's just specifically for this place. Um, I started looking for an apartment, apartment like July, because I really wanted to move August 1st. Um, but like I said, I had some things to take care of with my last apartment that was just being really difficult. So I didn't start until like two, three weeks ago uh, looking for this place. Um, basically, I went through the application process. It took a long time. It's just like a lot of paperwork. And then I had to get my dog uh, registered and send that in. And then, you know, just, 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 just that process. It, it was stressful simply because, you know, I'm an anxious person <laughs> and I really just like, this place is really nice and I just really just wanted it bad. I'm like, this is, this is the, this is my home and I want this to be my home. And, um, I was really nervous that someone else would like try to come and steal it and I'd have to fight them. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but in the end, uh, I got approved. Um, the lady that I worked with, uh, management was extremely helpful, like extremely helpful. I hit her with like 6,000 questions and she was like, okay, this, 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 this. Um, helping me with everything, very nice. Um, and today I picked up my keys and um, so yeah, that was basically the whole application process. That was the full, uh, like I said, from here on, now I gotta go get some stuff uh, to move into this place. <laughs> um, yeah, this is my home. <laughs> I actually have seen a couple YouTubers uh, just watching empty apartment tours for Dallas that actually live in this apartment complex. So I'm definitely gonna be reaching out to them, maybe do some collabs or something. I don't know, maybe I'll be social, maybe <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what my social anxiety says, but um, I really, I, I, I want to end this video by saying that um, life can be hard, life can be tough for sure, and there are days when you will definitely question if things are worth it or if you should continue, and I gotta honestly say that quarantine was one of the hardest six months of my life. Um, I've definitely been put through a lot and even this application process simple stuff like um getting cable set up and you know electricity and stuff like that like that stuff that you know they don't really teach you in school stuff you kind of have to learn on your own and i'm thankful that i've had my parents by my side to really kind of guide me through this process and my family and you know <laughs> during the quarantine i was like so you know just bothered by my lack of freedom um and not being able to be by myself and you know what I'm saying my independence and you know it really it really brought me down a lot but all I could do and all anyone can do in situations like that when it's really tough is just to keep praying keep keep God in your prayers keep keep manifesting keep whoever spirituality it, you know, it doesn't even need to be God. It, I, I, I pray to everybody. I pray for all. Um, I really just manifest good energy and just really just try to send out, like, positive light. Um, and just really just manifest the things that I want. And this apartment was something that I wanted and I knew that I was going to get it. Not simply because, you know what I'm saying, the process, application process or whatever. But I, 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 I walked in here immediately on my tour and I was like, this is my home. Like, this is the one I want. This is this is my apartment. Like this, I deserve this. I affirm this. I want this. I'm manifesting this for myself. And I know that sounds crazy for people that maybe aren't really into manifesting or praying or spirituality, but this process has been long and grueling. But every moment of it brought me to this experience, to this level of happiness and pride that I feel in myself, this level of thankfulness, this level of gratefulness that I feel for my family, that I feel for, you know what I'm saying, for God, for everyone, my, you know, my ancestors, my spirit guides, all of that, and everybody that was by my side through this process. Um, a lot of people didn't even know that I was going through all that I was going through just because I kept it to myself. Um, I really have been really implementing the process of grinding and, pro and, and silence praying and processing you know, praying in silence and just kind of 
doing the things that need to get done done and then once it's established then showing up like no one knew until I got approved that I was moving you know what I'm saying no one knows until I get the keys type type situation that's just kind of the energy that you have to be on because you never know who's praying your downfall you never know who you, you put some stuff out there you never know who's praying against you that who's sending negative energy towards you that you may not even know not really to go I didn't mean to go off on a rant really truly but um I really am thankful I really am blessed um humbled honored truly this experience has really just been so emotional I know that um, I'm not really emotional now because I'm happy because I got the keys and <laughs> but I know like you know once I start moving in and most likely that first night here is gonna be tough uh, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a good tough you know what I'm saying like I feel like I'm on a new chapter of life, uh, not just with, you know what I'm saying, this new home, with this new job, you know, this new school, <laughs> um, this new mindset, uh, all of that. Like, I'm new to this prayer stuff, y'all. Like, I wasn't always a religious person. Quarantine has literally made me the person that you'll see that quarantine is the one where I found, you know, myself and I've grown into myself a lot. And that's how I know, like, I can handle, like, before quarantine, you telling me that I have to set up my own cable and electricity? I would be like, no, I can't do that. But I did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did that. And I'm about to be paying my own bills. I'm about to be taking care of, taking care of my stuff through God, through manifesting, through spirituality, staying blessed, still promoting positive health, still promoting mental health awareness, still advocating for self-love, body positivity, all of that. Like I'm still going to be taking care of all the things that I've been doing and learning. And um, I hope you guys really just stick on this journey with me. Um, not just the apartment, but like my channel in general. Um, I'm really excited for the content to be pushing out for you guys. Um, continue to grow with you guys. Continue for you guys to get to know me. Um, and, and, and putting a face and putting a personality to mental health, uh, especially in the black community. Um, if I can do it, anybody can. <laughs> if I can go through what I go through on a daily basis and still be here to put a smile on you guys' face, like that means the world to me. And I, I hope it means the world to somebody else too. So with that being said, this is KJ's World. Every day I want to inspire you guys to be radiant, ain't unique. Radiant, ain't unique. Love yourself, love others.